Alright, hello everybody, and welcome to another Elevator Parts video. Today's part, we have something a lot bigger than what uh, we've seen on the other videos. Today we have this San Francisco Elevator Company car station, and I believe these are pain buttons. This is actually a piece for the Elevate Tours Elevator Museum. So basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to clean it up, and we're going to wire it up, and see what we can do with it. Just uh, kind of what we have already. We have a little light key switch up here. We've got the buttons. All seem to press very well. Uh, I mean, they don't press like perfect. They are little. They have a little dirt in them, so we're gonna clean those up. There's a little bit of dirt on the button itself. We'll wipe that off. Clean it up. Got a door open button which presses fine. With the alarm button is just straight up stuck, so we're gonna have to fix that. Inspection key switch. It's a little bit of dirt on it. We'll wipe the key switches off. And then the emergency stop. You can see here won't uh it won't flip the other way so we're gonna have to clean that up and then we're gonna have to figure out how to wire it before we uh get started with cleaning and and doing all kinds of work to it i'm gonna take this thing apart and show you guys what it looks like on the inside so after you remove the four screws on the top you can pull off the plate and the plate here you can see is just the metal plate and then underneath we have a very rusty piece now this is like very old rust it's not like new rust so we're, we're, we're thinking we're, we should be okay with leaving it, but you can see there's spots for a whole bunch of other things if you know you wanted to add other buttons to it. So there's actually, there were some more screws on the uh, corners here. And once you take those off, this piece comes out. You can see there's the box. And we can turn this over and see how all this stuff works. So this is the back of the pain button here. And we'll take a look at all the components on this panel. First one on the top here is we have the key switch. Pretty much how this all works is when you turn the key, this little metal piece turns here and it knocks the switch in the other direction. And then the same goes with the other way. Now the buttons here are fairly simple as well. You have these two pins right here and when you press down the button, it pushes a contact down here and makes a connection. There's two of those, one on either side. And we also have these very interesting lamp sockets that kind of clip in there. And you can see inside, there's the little bulb. I've never seen a lamp like this before. This is quite interesting. And there's four of those buttons. Then down here, we have the door open button, which is basically the exact same thing minus the lamp socket. The alarm button is the exact same thing as that. Another key switch here, same mechanism as on top. And here we have the stop switch. Now this thing's really, really interesting, and I'll show you how it works. Now right now, the switch won't even change position because of how dirty it is. But if we just help it out a little bit, you can see it kind of switches back over, and then when we pull it back, it's really, really dirty, so we're gonna have to do a lot of work to that. So this thing's gonna be a fun and challenging project, so the first thing I think we're gonna do is take all the buttons off, and we're gonna clean each individual button and make them all work perfect, then we'll put it all back together, then we'll focus on wiring. So now let's go ahead and get to work on some of these buttons. And the first one that needs a lot of attention is the alarm. So what it looks like is we have to take all four of these metal contact pieces out right here. This is weird, but what that's allowed me to do is push that in and clean the gunk out that's around it. So there we have, I've cleaned the alarm button. You can see it's kind of shiny now. There's still a little bit of, of dirt on the sides there, but overall, the, uh, the button's a lot cleaner, and it presses a whole lot better. So we need to go ahead and put the contacts back in. All right, the alarm button works a lot better now. It works very nicely. Now onto the other buttons. All right, guys, so all of the buttons are cleaned up. Key switches are cleaned up. And for the stop switch, I went ahead and put some WD-40 on it, which caused it to work a whole lot better. Now these are ready to be put back onto the panel. All right guys, so here we have the empty plate and um, I went ahead and I started using a little bit of sandpaper to try to get some of the rust off and then I realized this would take a long time and I would have to go out and buy something to really make this work. So we're gonna go ahead and put everything back in. Then we're gonna start wiring this thing. Alright 
guys. So that's all of the buttons put back in. As you can see, everything works great. Haven't tried the key switches. I don't have the keys for it. So that brings us to the next part of this project, and that's wiring this thing. So I've managed to pull apart one of the lamp sockets, and it's actually quite easy. What you have to do, you have to use a pair of pliers to clamp down onto this metal piece, which makes this metal piece wider, and I can then freely place in the lamp socket. All right, guys, this is what I think I'm gonna do for wiring this thing. If we take a look here, we have these little metal pins on the side, and if I loosen those up a little bit, I can actually place the contacts of the LED inside. And then I can also position the LED in the middle to make it work. I'll simply just attach the wire from the battery onto the side, other side of the contact, and we'll do that on all four buttons. All right, so you can see here I've mounted the LEDs in here, and we're now gonna test them to see if they work, because most likely they won't, because they need to be cleaned. So we're gonna test this button, all right, that lights up. That kind of does, so we'll need to clean that contact. That one literally doesn't at all, and that one kind of does. So these contacts are very dirty. They need some cleaning, so I'm gonna go ahead and get in here, clean these contacts up, and then we'll see how they work afterwards. All right, guys, all of the contacts are clean now, and check this out. Basement, lobby, two, and three. They all light up and they all light up different colors. So the next thing we need to do is put it back in the box and put the cover back on. All right guys, so that pretty much concludes the uh, work I'm doing on this panel. Now this wasn't as um, in depth or as in detailed, I just wanted to give you guys a little overview of what is on the inside of this button and kind of what I did to it to make it work. You can see now, all of the buttons light up. These buttons press very nicely, and the stop switch works perfectly. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching me restore and wire up this awesome Payne San Francisco Elevator Company elevator fixture. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.